Hi guys, Lee the Spray here, okay? Not in my overalls. Um, we gotta talk about my brother's setup here, Lee the Drum, and these beautiful things. Now then, your precious metals, guys, symbols, and the problems that sometimes happens with them is that they break, they crack. I have some customers that come to carry it and they never break a symbol in their life, so we will put a video out actually of, of the best way to play your cymbals, okay? I'm gonna do that in due course. I spent my whole life in engineering, steel, fabrication work, and all the rest, so welding, brazing, TIG welding, ASME 9 coded welding, and all the rest of it. So loads and loads and loads of stuff, so I know metal. Basics, you have your entry-level um, cymbals, and they are basically a sheet of brass, very thin brass and cheap, cheap uh, metals mixed in with it, and they simply punch the, the cymbals out. Bang, 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 bang. But as you climb the ladder, they start to put extra materials in there, okay? Yes, yeah, so your B80s, B20s, and so on. They start to mix the metals that they go in. And when you get into your artisans or your quality handmade cymbals, then they are poured. So what they do is they simply pour um, molded metal into a pot. It comes out a bit like a pound coin, Okay, and then they roll it like a pizza, like a pizza, like a pizza, over and over, and they roll it back and forth. You have to do both sides, flip it over like that to break the the back of the metal like that, and then they shape it and all the rest. You fib, as it happens, do it slightly differently. What they have is a spinning uh, mold. So what they do is they wind up their rotor mold and they pour their hot metal in. Because of that, it's shaped already upside down like this so that would be spinning like that quite fast so all the dross gets pushed away plus then the shape of the bell is already there and the beauty with the UFIP symbol is that the pressed the bell is not pressed from that flat pizza it is already shaped so it remains with this consistency of thickness around that area and they get less cracks and less breakage there which is common with a lot of symbols did you know so bear with me hang on in there right then guys so a couple of things a, a tip a lot of you will already know this but others don't know how do you know when your symbol is cracked you can't always see it by the eye they can be super hidden away so i'm going to snip the video in bits now because i'm going to jump up and down to pick up these symbols so it'll be a little bit snippy snippy and i'll appear with another symbol all the time so first of all let's remove this one and let's show you a cracked symbol. So I have placed on there a cracked symbol. Now if I was to lift it up, and I know guys that some of you think I should be wearing gloves or whatever, one, these are my own symbols. I don't mind touching symbols personally because I clean them anyway, just gently clean them. And they get hit with sticks, look, so they're gonna get dirty. And secondly, all the ones that I'm gonna about to show you are already second hand or repaired or split or damaged, so it doesn't matter. So that's why I'm holding them. So I got this symbol. It's a nice little symbol, that actually, a dream bliss, and it's got a crack on it. But if I was to hold that to you there, you can't see the crack. It's really difficult to find. How do you know if your symbols are split? Well, whenever you set your symbols up, either with your stick or with your hand, it's dead easy. Give it a little tap. And can you hear that? Can you hear it? It's almost like, you've seen those sizzlers, we sell them in the shop, you put them on and it's like a little chain that goes down there for jazzy style. And when you hear that sizzle, there's a problem. And that's because the metal is obviously doing that at some point. And that crack can be really small. So whenever you set up, if you're in doubt, whenever you tap, clean as a whistle like. There, clean as a whistle, sizzling. And as soon as you see that, guys, you need to really, really look. It can be here, it can be around this part where you tend to hit a lot. Our very common is around the edge. And if I was to show you this, it's right there and right there. There's two of them. Now, they only a tiny bit in, like 10 mil. So we could trim them out and the symbol will be perfectly fine. Do not, whatever you do, guys, continue using the symbol over and over thinking oh well i'll get away with it and i'll have a look at it one day because what will happen every time you hit it that will just creep creep and creep and you'll either take a chunk out or it'll simply within a gig will go right the way up okay 
So as soon as you see it, boom, put the brakes on. That's a red light if you want to save your symbol. Go to a metalworking factory and ask them to gently cut that out or send it to somebody like us where we will scroll up them out and we charge you know, very small amount of money compared to the price of the symbol, that's for sure. So let me show you a couple of things that you don't do, that's best not to. Here I have a paste 505 symbol, it's gone, it's, uh, it needs a big cut. But what the customer has done when they've left it with us, look, they've drilled two tiny little holes there, hoping that that will be fine. It's no good guys, because what happens is, is that this movement here is, is pressing. So the, the wobble is there, that sizzle is there, and if you was to catch that when you were playing, you're really, really smacking so much pressure on those two holes that look straight away, it starts splitting. There's only one way, because especially when they're a poured metal, I've checked, I've tried it, guys, just out of experimenting. I've TIG welded and brazed and all sorts, just to see what happens to the symbols. When they're a poured metal, they're so complicated in there now that, forget it, applying heat is no good. There's only one way, and that's to very gently remove that and polish it back so it's nice and smooth. And they will last longer. Now, does that change the sound? Well, obviously, if you take a huge amount out, you're going to get some difference. But when I showed you, like, the dream symbol or here, if, it, if that was done straight away, two little scallops there, you wouldn't have no idea that you've cut them except for the visuals of them. So don't drill them. Waste of time. They have to be cut properly and neatly. You can use a Dremel thing and be there forever and a day. It's cheaper to give it to a guy who knows what he's doing. There's loads in the UK or a good few in the UK. Just go on the forums, ask for symbol repairers and you'll find guys. Send it out to him, have it back and his job be done. Look, that had a nasty pasty on there. So we've done two. And if you notice, when you feel the edge, it's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that at all. So that's a good little repair and another one Projection crash, again, a cut out there, and it's fine. And that last, when you consider how much a new symbol is, a split, um, a repair on a split, that lasts you quite a while. And as I said, I think we charge something like £12 to do one of them, you know? So get in touch with us if, if you have this problem, or get in touch with somebody that's local to you and look around to see who's about, or even a metal worker that knows what they are doing ask him to do a nice and neat repair. All right, guys? So there's a bit of advice on crack symbols. And look out, because I will put a video up on how to use symbols to get them to last longer. I'm also going to do one to do with polishing, cleaning, and all the rest. So I'm going to be splitting a symbol. If it's not already on YouTube, it will be on. I'm going to do one about splitting a symbol. I'm going to cut it all up. And I'm going to use six methods of cleaning it just to show them when I put it all back together what the difference in the cleaning is. Look out for them. Lots of quirky videos. There's going to be tutorials by Lee the Drum going on. Lee the Spray, myself in, in, in next door with the painting. And of course Lee the Shop doing reviews on products and all the rest. Loads and loads of videos to come out guys. All hopefully a bit of fun and a bit of interest and just intriguing. Something a little different to what you normally would see up online. Okay, so take care. Over and out. Da bochi, as they say in Wales. Ta da! I stand here probably not. Hi, everybody. Lee the Stir. Hi, everybody. Lee the Spray here. Borrowing my brother's little uh, outfit here of Lee the Drum, his, his lovely drum kit and his electric pads and his lovely <coughs> little cymbals. <coughs> Beautiful. Ha <coughs> ha. <coughs> Loves playing that. Anyway, we're going to talk about these guys. Precious metals. Okay? It's. Uh, stop saying okay.